All right, let's solve a little problem here. We have this dog that's sitting on my dry erase board, and he's very tiny, and he's sitting underneath a clock. And at a specific time, this clock reads, say, 15 seconds. Let me put some units in here. Seconds. All right, and this dog is located at the 20 centimeter mark. He's at the 20 centimeter mark. Now, this dog slowly walks across my board until he gets over here to the 50 centimeter mark. He's at the 50 centimeter mark. At this point, he gets there at the time of 39 seconds. We're kind of using like a stopwatch time. At some point, someone started the stopwatch. Once it said 15 seconds, boom, this dog starts walking across my board. And once it reads T30, uh, 39 seconds, that's when he is at this location right here. Let's find out how fast this dog was traveling. Let's find his average velocity. To find out the average velocity, we have to know two things. We have to know how much displacement he has gone through, how much distance he has traveled. This is a triangle known as delta x, a delta x, or his displacement. We also have to know how much time it took him. We have to know how much the time has changed from one time to another. All right, so these are two things we need to find out. To find delta x, or the displacement, we have to know the final position and take away the initial position. If we look over here, his initial position was at 20 centimeters. So let's, uh, let's go up here and zoom out a little bit. Let's say at his initial position was 20 centimeters. His final position was 50 centimeters. The initial time he started at was 15 seconds. The final time he started at, or I'm sorry, the time he ended at was 39 seconds. So T F equals 39 seconds. Now, just like we find the change in position or the displacement by the final mice initial, we can find the amount of time it took him to get from one place to the other by the final time minus the initial time. Okay, now these are the three equations here we're going to use. This is the data we're going to use to solve it. Let's come off to the side. Delta x equals xf minus xi. That's how we find the displacement. The final position was 50 centimeters. The initial position was 20 centimeters. So we travel a total of 30 centimeters. Delta T is TF minus TI. The final time, 39 seconds. The initial time, 15 seconds. It's a fine looking one. For a total of 24 seconds. Yes. Okay. Now, this right here, we saw was the amount of displacement. This here, we saw was the amount of time. These are two things we use in that equation right there. Displacement we just found out was 30 centimeters. The time we just found was 24 seconds. Can you do this in your head? One and one sixth centimeters per second. <clears throat> Put that in the calculator, I think it comes out to about one. Oh heck, let's get one. Don't work? Yep, it's March. Let's go back up here and let's say 30 divided by 24. 1.25. Oh, I was way off. 1.25. Good thing I got the calculator. 1.25 centimeters a second. The reason I use centimeters a second is because the units in the equation were centimeters per second. That's all. Anyway, we just found the average velocity of this dog.